The last puzzle that arises from knowing the activity of DNA polymerases is how the ends of eukaryotic chromosomes, the telomeres or telomeric DNA, are replicated. This slide illustrates the problem with telomeres. When the last Okazaki fragment is made in the telomeric region of the lagging strand, the primer may be removed by DNA polymerase 1, but then what? If corrective action isn't taken, then after every S phase or round of replication, chromosomal telomeres would shorten, compromising the longevity of cells as DNA is lost from each chromosome. Obviously, chromosomal DNA does not shorten after each generation in normal cells, and so here's what happens. The nucleus produces an RNA protein complex or ribonucleoprotein structure during replication called telomerase. Let's take a close look at the telomeric end of a DNA double helix just before removal of the primer, in this case at the 5' prime end of the upper strand. Step 1 is the removal of the primer, which would be accomplished by DNA polymerase 1, its exonuclease activity hydrolyzing RNA nucleotides from the 5' prime end. Then the telomerase ribonucleoprotein binds. The bases in the RNA of telomerase are complementary to bases at the 3' prime end of the lower strand, resulting in H-bond formation, after which telomerase can extend the lower template strand, synthesizing a telomere repeat sequence. Then the telomerase shifts to the right in this illustration. This is followed by another extension of the 3' prime end of the lower strand by telomerase and this is repeated many times, creating a telomeric lower strand with a long trail of repeated short telomeric sequences. Finally, when the 3' prime end of the lower strand has extended long enough, it can serve as a template for primer and more Okazaki fragment synthesis and ligation of extra Okazaki fragments. So in normal healthy cells, chromosomes don't get shorter after each round of replication. And there it is. A remarkable discovery was made some years ago. Cells that have stopped dividing contain less telomerase than cells that are still active. But if you inject telomerase particles, these ribonucleoprotein particles isolated from healthy cells, if you inject these into cells that have stopped dividing, the cells start dividing again. Cancer cells, in contrast, have active telomerases that don't quit, which perhaps explains or begins to explain why cancer cells can divide out of control. And finally, the cells of people that exercise regularly have chromosomes with longer telomeres in most of their dividing cells, implying the presence of more active telomerases.